Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans. Remember Mute the little tempestuous terror with the hyperactive flippers who reached the grand final of the New Blood tournament in Extreme 2 and the semi-finals of the Seventh Wars? Ever wanted a toy model of it to battle with against your pullback toys? Well, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Robot Wars competitor models, build a mute! So you all know the story, back whenever I was a kid, I was obsessed with Robot Wars. So much so that I spent time building little tiny competitor models to fight with against my pullbacks. And one of those competitor models was this, which is Mute. And as you can see, it's in terrible shape. All the sellotape's kind of rotting off it there. It's kind of been bashed about a bit and is kind of falling apart. So I'm going to take the time today to show you how to build this, which is almost what I'd like to call Mute 2.0. So as you can see, it's a bit more streamlined and hopefully looks a little bit more screen accurate than this mute does so uh, let's get started and uh, I'll show you how to build it so in order to build mute you will need the following some black duct tape a pair of scissors some sellotape a black marker a gray pencil and a black pen and most importantly you'll also need these which are the how to build mute uh, instructions which uh, can be accessed by the links just below this video uh, on the Facebook page uh, that can be found in the photo album RW how to build plans and uh, as you can see it's just one page this time as opposed to my other how to build models which had two pages so you're gonna wanna download that and print it off of course, you're also going to need some cardboard. Now, I prefer using tissue boxes, uh, you know, nice thin cardboard, something along the lines of pizza boxes, that sort of thing. Uh, so basically what you want to do is open out the ends here. So basically take the ends and open them up as though they were a cereal box. Put those open there. Uh, take a look at the inside and you can see a little sort of join in there. Uh, up the side there. I don't really know if my camera's picking that up there But what you want to do is take your scissors and cut along that little line there See just in the corner so cut that off So as you can see this now allows you to open out the box completely But uh, as for now do you see this little sort of join here? You're going to want to take your scissors and cut off this entire section here so with that done, as you can see, the card now splits in half. And you're going to want to take this half and put it to one side for now. Uh, that will then leave you with this little section here. And onto this, you're going to want to draw all your little details and all your little plans from uh, the actual plans uh, to scale onto this piece of card. Okay, so once you've drawn all your designs on, it should look like this. And uh, remember to colour it in here using uh, your grey pencil and uh, add in the little bits of detail up at the top here, such as the little uh, sections where the flipper's going to be. You can colour them in black or, I don't know, add a bit of detail like a piston or something. I don't really know. It's up to you. And uh, the little black lines on the side panelling here. And uh, the wheels, of course. And as you can see here, I've covered the entire front section here in tape. That's to protect uh, the cardboard whenever the model is complete. And around the back here, I've uh, covered it in black duct tape, which is preferable. You can use any other type of masking tape or something like that, just as long as it's black. And uh, that's just to make it a little bit more sturdier whenever you put it together. So, once you've done all that, you're going to want to take your scissors and cut out all these little sections. So as you can see, with uh, all the little panels cut out on the front, they're nice and laminated almost. And uh, on the back, they're uh, nice and black and nice and tough and rigid. So now what you want to do is start putting mute together. So what you're going to want to do is start off by adding the back section on and uh, the two side panels. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, there's the back panel and the sides attached. Uh, whenever you're attaching the sides, just attach along that two centimeter line here. As you can see, I've uh, left this bottom section open here, so it almost looks like uh, Batman's ears, almost uh, that kind of weird triangle design. And uh, whenever you're attaching the back, make sure you attach it with this uh, black section touching the bottom as opposed to the other way around, because whenever you put it together, the flipper will be upside down. So uh, <laughs> try not to do that. So next what you want to do is fold up the side panels and uh, attach these uh, two end pieces together here. So uh, as you can see that joins to that and uh, that goes into place like that. Alright so there we go and as you can see Mute is slowly starting to come together. Now what you're going to want to do is see at this sort of join here you're going to want to take it and you're going to want to bend it around your finger like so. And as you can see it's uh, now bent inward. Uh, then this allows you to attach the end section here so uh, it forms the front 
of meat. So as you can see, it creates that kind of sort of angled sort of front there that uh, meat has right at the front of it on the scoop. So uh, do that for both sides and tape it into place. Okay, and once you've done that, what you want to do now is attach Mute's top section here. And uh, as you can see, I've just uh, attached it in place right at the back here. Then what you want to do is bend it down, and uh, as you go, attach it into place, and then use your fingers the same way you did with the side panels to bend it around and bend it into shape until eventually it uh, fits into place. So here we go, as you can see that's the top section now completely connected. Uh, you may get a little extra kind of lip there at the end wherever you put it together because again I suck at maths. So uh, just take your scissors and chop that off and uh, there you go, as you can see that is basically Mute's body completed. So next what you want to do is take the flipper blade and attach it to the front base of, uh, of Mute. So as you can see, that's the flipper blade attached, and uh, what you want to do is, whenever you have it on there, you'll see it uh, sits up in there a little bit. So what you want to do is, again, take your thumb and just bend that little section around so that it uh, fits into place. And uh, make sure whenever you are attaching the flipper blade, that uh, whenever you put a piece of sellotape across the front and across the back, that there's a little kind of gap in the middle there, so you can see, you can almost see through it. Uh, whenever it opens up, that'll just allow it to uh, open up and come back into place nice and uh smoothly so that's the front flipper attached so now you're going to want to go and attach the back flipper so as you can see that's now the front blade and the back blade attached and there you have mute completely finished now as you can see i've also added little tiny bits of detail like a little lip at the bottom of the flipper here which gives it zero ground clearance so i can get in underneath some of your other models and flip it over um the actual mute in the show actually has little kind of spiked ridges up across the top of the flipper here, uh, which are incredibly tricky to make. I mean, I tried to put them onto my original version of mute, and as you can see, it didn't turn out too well. Plus, you can't really get in underneath other uh, models to flip them over, so I've just decided to go for two black strips here. You can try and put some uh, ridges on if you want. I don't really mind. And uh, along the back here... I've added more little bits of detail, so uh, the little back flipper has these two little forks here, just like in the show, that uh, allows it to uh, flip other robots up and over. So uh, yeah, that basically completes the how to build a mute tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's countless other videos online, uh, such as how to build Behemoth and how to build Storm 2, uh, instructions for which are also available via Facebook or via the links underneath the videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, keep following the nerd. Bye-bye.